Everyone knows the SEC will be adding Texas and Oklahoma in 2024. It's great news for the important people that will make a ton of money, but no one is concerned the feelings of Vanderbilt. They're easily the worst college football program in the SEC. I mean, they've never won 10 games as a program. Now, Tanner is serious. In their entire 119-year history, the most wins they've ever had was four different nine-win seasons. And they have zero SEC titles, even though they've been in the conference since 1933, which uh, I'm no math smart person, but that's a long, long time. So since these two big-time programs are joining the SEC, Vanderbilt went out on a higher coach Killian Sprinkles. And unfortunately, since Vanderbilt has the tradition of my left toe, we can't recruit four-star prospects till we reach eight wins, and we can't recruit five-star recruits till we reach ten wins. Even with all this facing coach Sprinkles, he is confident he can win Vanderbilt a national title and make them the kings of the SEC. I mean, the roster is an awful. There's honestly some pretty solid players at Vanderbilt. It's just, you know, the SEC is so yoked and loaded, so. We have our quarterback in the future, AJ Swan, the Birdman, Mr. Swan Song. He's gonna be red shirting for an extra year. We're gonna start Mike Wright, fast boy, a little nimble, so, uh, yeah, he's gonna be a starter. CJ Taylor, I like him a lot. 88 overall. He's a young and he's only a sophomore, so, uh, yeah, he's got a bright future. He'll be here for hopefully two more years. Well, that's awesome to see. We're not sucking too much. Three and three starting the conference slate. Not too bad. Started out 0 and 3, and then we won three in a row, so that's nice to see. A little hot and cold Katy Perry action right there. Ah, dear God. We're playing Georgia, man. Yikes. This ain't gonna be good. Got some aspiring young men visiting on campus. Hopefully, we can reel in a couple of these guys, because this roster needs a lot, man. There's a lot of positions that Tam man needs to fill. I think we've already filled two with Vincent DeBrach, DeBritch. Vincent with a Y. That's kind of cool. And Ian Pippins. Both are nice names. All right, Michael. No pressure, young stud. Need you to ball out this game if we got any shot of winning. Circle? Oh, dear God. That was not smart. Yeah, dang it, Tanner. Shoot. Dad 13. The dream is looking lost. We'd love a touchdown here. X? Bingo! What's his name? Oh, brush in the horn. No pressure, guys. If we got any chance of winning this bad boy, we gotta recover this. So, uh, yeah. So, Balavos. Oh, yes! Oh, no. No. Did not work. Nice try, Balavos. Yeah, we can't even tackle either, man. We're just dysfunctional. Yeah, it's unfortunate to say the least, but, you know, we walked in here not expecting to win. We walked out not winning, so I can't really be disappointed because I knew we'd suck and lose, so. Did not expect this. Oh, my goodness. I actually had people decide to commit after watching that murder. So, ah, I'm not going to complain, man. I'll definitely take it. Yeah, we're not going to a bowl game year one. I mean, I shouldn't, I should have just prepared myself for the worst, which is... It could have been worse than this, so I can't be too upset. I mean, I'd be a lot more content if we lose to Texas freaking State, man. I lost to Florida, too. We beat Kentucky, and then we lost Tennessee, man. Just, ugh. Final game of the year. At home. Again, that's not a Skinner guy. God, yikes. Oh, uh, yeah, we're playing Oklahoma. Let's just try and go out with a bang, man. We didn't make a bowl game. Let's just try and ruin their season. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Not a touchdown. Not a touchdown. I'm a stupid head. Tanner's down 20 and one. We're in desperate need of a touchdown here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ball. 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 I like balls. Well, not those balls, but getting drilled by 28. Tanner wants to make it look respectable. X. Touchdown. X. Oh, it's touchdown. Is that Sean Wall again? Shaving drilled. Not allowed to say daddy. It's what girls say when they have intercourse. Oh, there we go. Another onside kick, man. What was this guy's name? It was like Italian. It was like Bavlossi. Actually, I think, I think, I think that's Russian. You like Vladimir Bulavos? I don't like Vladimir. He wants to blow up the world. Not very nice of him. Ah, man. We lost. What even is a Kamadoy? Is that like one of those like people that wear uh, chaps in the 1800s and have fake hair? Is he related to Benjamin Franklin? You know, four and eight year one. I would have liked to see like six and six, but I mean, we did win three SEC games, but we just lost to UAB and Texas State, which is just like, I. I couldn't even tell you how that happened, man. That's a scooby mystery. Say goodbye to the orgy boy. I'm sure I'll play it for the rest of his life. But we also got a lot of graduates as well. And I'm going to be honest, the recruiting class is not looking too good. Just a little bit of a teaser. So, uh, yeah, things might go for a turn for the worst, which is not good. Ho, ho, ho. It must be Tamman's lucky day. Oh, this is awesome. Chaz Champ was from Georgia. Tamman will gladly take you with open arms. Oh. We, You know, I ain't gonna sugarcoat things, but this recruiting class was definitely sucky. I mean, I think it wasn't horrible, but, I mean, we got some decent guys. Got a really good kicker, Vincent DeBright. You guys know about him. Anthony Allen, Chase Rasko, those two are pretty decent, so... Oh, wait, he's a four-star. Oh, well, I gotta cut him. 67th in America. I feel like an idiot for signing. I did not realize that guy was a four-star. Just like every single other part of my life. I feel like a dumb nut. 
dang it. Year two, the roster's looking a lot better, thankfully, because this Debrechi guys they make the roster look a lot better than what it actually is. CJ Taylor, Will Shepard, I don't know what it was. I thought I registered a lot more people last year. I must have, like, unregistered or something, because uh, Mr. AJ Swansong, the Birdman, was supposed to be a redshirt freshman, and he is a sophomore now, so that is not good at all whatsoever. But we do have a really good wide receiver core. Big thanks to Will Shepard. We got a youngin' and Jaden McGowan as well, a little midget boy at 5'8", but yeah, the team's looking a lot better than the team last year, but we got to recruit better. That is a non-negotiable. Well, what started the year? Not too bad. We won a game, so I'm not going to complain. 500 is that horrible. Mississippi State gave us the shaft, but we did bounce back and beat Georgia Southern, which is very, very good to see because we lost to a lot of out-of-conference teams last year. All right, gang, we need to win this one, okay? No pressure. This is a must-win game. Need to impress some recruits. Need to get some good influx of youngness into the team. Got a lot of kids coming for the game. All right, a lot of good kids, too. There's some 70-plus overalls here. We need to impress all these Cougars, and we need to make sure that we get some commits this cycle, all right? The last recruiting class was buns. Look at the gaping hole right up the middle, bro. Literally, the, the Red Sea is parting. This should be a touchdown. Good job, Betts, Polly. Game's coming down to the wire. We're up one at the goal line. Square. Oh, God. Free rusher. R1. Davis. Big boy. <laughs> Aziz Devas, let's go, baby. Come on, guys. Don't be stupid. Oh, thank the heavens. I would have lost my marbles. Oh, thank you, Walker. You just saved somebody from a death certificate. Yeah, baby. We won a game at home in front of the recruits. A rivalry game, too, so that gives me some extra street cred. Let's go, baby. Ah, oh, man, no better feeling in the world. All these kids committed except for one. I mean, actually, there probably is a couple better feelings. Like, you know, going to a Katy Perry concert, eating some Oreos, maybe having a Snickers. But you know what? Stanley Carter, Clay Pierce, you guys will do just fine. Still above 500. This is awesome to see. Four and three. Definitely not going to complain about that. Looks like we beat Appalachian State by 10. Lost to Missouri, the Tigers. And then we beat Florida and then lost to Georgia. So win, loss, win, loss. We're close to a bull game, though. Just a couple more wins. I don't even know what that is. Is this like a domestic bird mutated or something? Maybe it's rabia-infested bird. I have no idea. All I know is we need to win this game and try and get a bull game. We're getting curb stomped by 28. It has Tanner questioning parts of life. Yeah, think about it, man. You got the genetics of Serena Williams. And you got the genetics of Usain Bolt. Gosh, dude, that kid has so many... That that would be a genetic freak, man. Usain Bolt as the dad and Serena Williams as the mama? That movie. It's like a genetic freak in Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then, you know, a not-so-genetic freak in Danny DeVito. Like, that movie is a very good representation of what could go wrong in a lab. Okay, no, we can't win this game now. Amos is gonna touch the end zone. Yeah, we can't tackle worth a crap, man. This team is so gross. Should not be proud of this effort, man. This is simply indefensible. I mean, I honestly could have put up more of a fight. Don't ask me how, man. I'm not going to complain. We finished 7-5. and five. I don't know how. Like I said, it, just, it happened, man. It happened. Lost to Kentucky, which I think was the worst team in the SEC. Actually, no, Tennessee was. We beat them, and then we finished on a three-game winning streak. We beat Oklahoma in the final week, so good job, guys. Beat Boomer sooner. Ah, well, we're playing the Leprechauns in the Ticket Smarter Bowl game in Birmingham. If we win this game, we can recruit four stars next year so please guys please win game's going great so far i'm 13 to 7 would love a touch on here i like this a lot i'm a big fan x again dude x again let's go skinner is this guy italianish or russish i, I don't remember he's brovkish or so? uh, Dob dobrish yeah i don't know what nationality that is touchdown uh wait no field goal shoot that was a great w man great w now tanner can recruit four stars and i can start Getting some more sleep at night. Thankfully, CJ Taylor has a girlfriend on campus, so he's staying around. Will Shepard, though, he's out to the NFL first round draft pick. Man, that's going to be some sort of like record here at Vanderbilt. Some other guys leaving as well, but not that many kids leaving. This is a lot more like a Coach Sprinkle. He's big, big fan of the class. Lots of depth. 23 guys because the class last year was so sucky, so I feel like I had to kind of overcompensate a little bit. Clay Pierce at safety. Christian Tupa from Ravina, Ohio, and then Stanley Carter. That is the man. If he can't do it, no one can. He's by far our best signee. 23 three stars, but hey, next year, we can go after four stars, baby cakes. But almost a top 50 class. I'm honestly, like, really, really happy with the class. It's very much, very much needed. Your Trace, I mean, the team's looking even better than the team last year. Only thing I'm kind of worried about is, like, some of these guys leaving because we have a really good senior class. So, yeah, it might be a little scary, but we're going to have to recruit somebody after AJ Swan song, the Birdman. He's uh, going to be the man for two next two years, but... Tanner needs to get a quarterback at the recruiting class. We do have a really good secondary, though. We got this Tyson Russell kid from Flirt Latterdale. We got Steven Sn 
Sanayanola, Sanayanola. I, I probably butchered that. And then, of course, CJ Taylor. Taylor, he's been the best guy this entire video so far. T, the secondary is really, really good. 4 and 2, second place in the SEC East. This is definitely foreign territory for us. I'm not going to complain, though. Commodores, baby. Just a very Vanderbilt thing to do. We started 3 0. We beat two SEC teams. We lost to Arkansas State, beat Missouri, and then lost to Virginia, man. I just don't understand it, you know. At least, you know what? We're undefeated in the SEC play. Thankfully, though, Coach Sprinkle's been killing it. We already have three linebackers I'm really happy about. We also have an athlete, Felipe Bedgood, from North Dakota. That is just a lot of things are going on there. All right, baby. First base stadium. Time to make some memories, boys. Let's become legends tonight. I love America. Oh, that's a touchdown. Yeah, baby. That's the lead right there. Let's go, Ben. Bill. I'm scared of the dark. Oh, yeah. Touchdown, Quincy Skinner, baby. We got the lead at half. Let's go, Vanderbilt. Yep, well, so much for that. Now down 10 in need of 7 ASAP as possible. Either this place would be a touchdown or I'm going to get sacked. Oh, well, looks like I got sacked. We gave it our best. Best wasn't good enough. Sometimes in life, it's just what happens. You know, my best wasn't good enough for Selena Gomez. All right, man, who's the real winner here? We picked up Darren Smith and Cody Abarski. I mean, from Georgia, so I'm really happy with the land of those three guys. So, I mean, yeah, we might have lost, but hey, we did win in some ways. Ah, uh, six and four, third of the SEC. If we didn't lose those stupid out-of-conference games, we'd be really, really sexy record right now. We beat the Gamecocks. We lost to Florida, who's third in the country, which makes negative sense. Then we beat Kentucky, so pretty good three-game stretch right there for us. All right, guys, let's make sure we show up. All right, I want some lucky boys tonight. I want some people to, you know, get a little lucky, like you said. All right, so if we win this game, get some kids coming to campus, Coach can have some extra 10 bits. Let's make it like, make it all happen. It can all converge into one night. Starships. Oh, it's touchdown circle. Starships. We're meant to fly. Nikki Mina J, baby. Let's go. Down four, but we got ball the chance to get the game winning drive. I'm honestly, I'm kind of feeling this route combo right here. X. Oh, yeah. First down. Catch that. Thank you, Cole Spent. Cole again. Oh, my gosh, dude. Cole is self-sabotaging. I'm convinced. It's like his third fumble this video. I tried to run commit. Did get, I didn't... Oh my god, you gotta be joking! Yeah, I don't know to tell you, Swan Song. I think Cole Spence is related to Tim Donahue, bro. I, there's just no other explanation. I mean, he just gave the ball. Yeah, I mean, I got no idea how we finished third. I don't even, how do we even go five? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that I have. I just have a lot of questions. Sorry, man. I don't understand it. Lost our last game to Oklahoma. Finished six and six. Very yucky season. I honestly was hoping for 10 wins, and uh, we went down two games instead of going up two games. I mean, if this isn't embarrassing and humiliating, man, this should fill you up. We're playing rice. Game isn't going so well. Down three. Tamman needs a touchdown here. You guys better not take any forbidden fruit before the game. Oh, that's touchdown. That's too easy, baby. Good job, Camarion. We woke up feeling dangerous, baby. We're passing right here. First down. Oh, yeah, triangle first down. Let's go. I thought he dropped it. He got it. Let's go, Patrick Smith. But we'll take the bull win. I mean, it wasn't impressive. We barely beat Rice, but ha. A win's a win, baby cakes. Once he team and complain. Swan Song is coming back. CJ's off in the second round. That's a high run. Good for you, man. And yeah, we honestly have a lot of good guys leaving, but the good thing is this recruiting class we got coming is it's pretty juicy. It should be good. I don't know if it's because I was listening to Justin Bieber or I'm looking at a really good recruiting class. I'm just really happy right now, man. Like, this is a class we desperately needed. And you know what? We got it, baby. Cody, you guys know about this kid. Cody Banks, if you know, you know. Darren Smith, and then we also picked up King Grubb, so a little quarterback battle there for the future, but yeah, this is a very, very much needed class that we picked up. Top 25 class in the country, making moves, baby, making moves. Hopefully gonna land more four stars next cycle, but uh, yeah, I'm getting better at recruiting. The coach is, uh, he's going up in skill level, so uh, it's only gonna go up from here, hopefully. Without a doubt, the best team we've had this video, I don't even think it's remotely close to be honest with you. I am very worried though after this year, we got a lot of guys leaving, so yeah. It's the Swan Song, senior year quarterback. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Just please try and go out with a bang. All right, let's try to get 10 wins this year. I feel like that's a pretty attainable goal. Defensively, we got this guy, Yelanan Aratara. I, that might be Frenchish or Canadianish. I couldn't tell you. Then Devin Lee as well. So really good defensive line, really good defensive tackles. The team should be pretty loaded this year, so it should be good. Eh, three and two starting of the year. This team is actually really good, but compared to the SEC, bro, I mean, the SEC East is just yoked, man. So it's gonna be difficult to get to win 10 games. Year. I doubt it'll happen. I mean, it certainly doesn't help when you lose to Middle Tennessee State. Why do we keep losing to the most random non-conference? I yeah, don't understand it, man. But we did beat Mizzou and Ole Miss. We barely lost Texas A&M. So teams play pretty good this year, except for that, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to call that. Like a blip on the radar? Yikes. Playing Florida at home. 
This is a toss-up game. It's a game we gotta have, Commodores. Let's make it happen. Got some very important kids coming to campus for this game. Like, these are the types of recruits, like these four, that are either gonna make or break us winning a national title in the next couple of years. Because we need these kids desperately. Late in the fourth quarter, Nailbiter here, up three. Really need to stop desperately. Oh my god, that did not work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I really want to throw a square. I should throw a square. Oh yeah. Moyako! My Smagadden go! Touchdown? Let's go! I was kind of headset right there. I was kind of scared. Good job, Jane. That yeah. pressure. There we go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Bow, bow, bow. Let's go and be a kick tag. Yeah. That's game over. Suck on those cheesecakes. Yep. Party time. AJ Swansong. He's the man. He's the myth. He's a legend. He had like 40, yeah, 400 yards. That guy, he is definitely going to be a lucky boy tonight. Congratulations, AJ. That was a big time W for us. The recruits better have been impressed or else Tanner's going to be a sad boy. Oh, man. Thank the heavens. This is such a beautiful sight to see. Our first 80 overall, Rashawn De God, all these confusing names. Like, why can't somebody be named, like, Chris Martin or, like, Joe Schmo or something? Brian Fowler. I mean, we picked up a lot of guys that we desperately needed. So, that's very, very awesome to see. You know, man, if I understood this, I'd tell you guys, I have no idea, man. I don't know. We're 6-6, six and six, 91 overall team, 95 offense. It is what it is. We're definitely getting better, though. So, we got to gotta keep it with a grain of salt. We went on a three-game losing streak. Then we went on a two-game winning streak. And then we lost to Oklahoma last week of the year. So, you know, man, sometimes in life, you got to go backwards to go forwards. I think that's something wise. Maybe I was not right. I I don't know, but 49th this year, 18th, 19th, 6th. We're going to keep going up upward trajectory. I'm a big, big fan. Hopefully, you can compete for a national title in a few years. We got to play the Leprechauns again, man. <sighs> okay. I would be a big fan of seven points right here for the Swan Song. Oh, there. Oh, it's McGowan. He's got a little vertical. I like that. That was cool. We're now in a very high stress situation. Down one, late fourth quarter. Tanner's in need of a step. We're choking right now. You've got to be joking me, man. I ran commit. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's fine. They're going to score. We're going to have to go for two, get the conversion, but we got this. This is going to be a touchdown. I have faith. Whoa! I did not think that would work, but it did. Hey, <laughs> You only live once, baby. Circle. Let's go! Yeah! Can we get a sacker here with a goo? Oh, no. Okay, I think that happens. What? They scored! Oh, my testicles. You've got to be joking. How? Review. Zebra man. Get to the press box. Review. Review. That was a sick joke they just played on me. I don't know if it was a prank or some sort of elaborate scheme. Whatever it was, I'm not a happy boy. First transfer of the video, and unfortunately, it was a guy I was super excited about. Josh Stevenson. We, don't, we really haven't had good running backs this entire video, and he's gone, so that sucks. And yeah, we're bringing back the Russian and also Davon Walker. Chaz Champ was off to the draft, and somehow, the swan song. He's only getting drafted in the seventh round. I feel bad for him. He got the short end of the stick, man. This team sucked for him. But yeah, everybody else, good luck in life. Hope you guys do good things for society. Just make sure you recycle. 20 new soldiers added to the squadron. I could not be happier. This is the exact type of recruiting class we needed. Okay, and I mean that with sincerity. Rashan Dadubui, you guys know about him. Brian Fowler Jr. and also this guy, Bill. Gosh, dude, but John Williams, I, I, maybe the J silent, I have no idea, man. Top 10 class in all of America, such a beautiful sight to see, man. Number eight in the country, nine four stars. Hopefully, we can get a top five class next year. That is the go. You know, man, at this point, we say this every year, but this is probably the best team we've had so far. I legitimately Williams say that every year. But honestly, I love this team a lot. I'm a big, big fan. I'm just worried about the quarterback position with Darren Smith. The guy's got a lot of potential. He's up to 84 overall, just a sophomore. But uh, huh, it's going to be a lot. It's going to take a lot to replace the Swan Song. Luckily, he's got David Walker, wide receiver. He tried to leave us for the draft last year. It wasn't very nice of him. Stanley Carter. We've done a really good job recruiting receivers, as you guys can see. So the offense should be yoked for the next couple of years oh uh, just another disappointing year man i'm not really upset with the team yeah i never mind i am upset with the team but like all these teams are just so good man it's ridiculousness i mean we got killed by texas week one we beat Akron, we beat fbs generic lost to Ole miss and beat with eastern michigan i mean we, we've done just about everything you'd expect we lost to the teams we should lose to we beat the teams we should beat it's just sadness, man. Since Tinner is a sad puppy, we have to be optimistic. Oscars around here. DeAndre Hall, Andrew Wu Ching. This is a really good start to a recruiting class so far. Not as many numbers, not as much quality depth, but still a ton of tip top quality. DeAndre is the highest overall guy we sent this entire video. So that's awesomeness. Now we're playing the Game Cacks on the road, playing in a rainstorm, a little tsunami action right here. Let's see if Coach Sprinkles and company can hopefully bring home a win, man. We need it. Definitely disappointed having to kick three right here, but you know what, man? 
The Russian's a stud. He'll make this bad boy for us. The Russian! Dude, that guy's that guy should be in the NFL right now. He can kick so well. We're tied up before half, and Tanner just got told some sad news. Darren's out for three weeks. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's touch of the X, right? Oh, yeah! Let's go! Cool spins! Another TD before half. Thank you, Fumble Gods. Uh, yeah, well, now we're down 14. We choke big time. This is not going well. It's looking awfully dim. Can I throw X? I'm gonna throw it. Fudge it. Oh, God. Yeah, that was just not... Uh, we lost, man. Shout! Not proud of the effort displayed on the field today. This was definitely a sad day in Vanderbilt Commodore football, but... We'll have to grow stronger from it, Coach Sprinkles. I guess this was like to have deja vu or be like that girl. Happy death day to you. I mean, 6-6, six 3-6. Six, six, I mean, it's the same thing every year, man. It's the same freaking thing. I mean, we finished 2-2 two two with the last four games. Florida beat Kentucky as well. Lost to Tennessee in overtime, which blows. Then we lost to Oklahoma in the final game, so... Yeah, I'm just a sad puppy over here. Sad as 17's in full effect. Ah, first responder bull. This is a new one. I'm a big fan of the EMS and firefighters people. So, uh, yeah. Let's try and win this bad boy and show and make them proud. Oh, I'm scared. I saw a ghost last night. I think its name was Casper. I want to cry. Even after throwing that dumb, dumb interception, we're just down three points before half. All right, we need to score down here. No excuses. Oh, Darren Smith, that's just way too easy. Yeah, baby cakes, let's go. Getting that lead back. All right, no pressure here, Dubrich. Russia, no pressure. Last kick of your college career? Come on, buddy. Become a living legend. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. So much for that. All right, definitely boo the bag. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. I fudged up the kick. <laughs> I, I never really fudge up ice kicks, so I kind of feel bad for the Russian because that was Tanner's fault. Triangle. Touchdown. Let's go. Oh, easy. Okay. Just kick the extra point, Tanner. Don't fudge this up. Come on, buddy. Let's go, Russian. It ended with a kick in your final game as a Commodore. You know, man, I hope the kids don't party too hard. Coach Sprinkles needs to get them in check. This is definitely not something to be proud of. We almost lost to a green wave. Man, so sad saying goodbye to all these guys knowing they accomplished nothing of value. So, yeah. Just, it's sad, man. But one day we'll get there. We'll get there soon. You gotta believe in the process. I'm gonna miss the Russian the most, though. He was a stud. You know, man, we might be sucking on the field, but I tell you what, this re these recruiting classes are picking up, and I am a big, big fan. We signed four 80-plus overalls with Jackson, Brian, who's Juco, Andrew Wiching. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Wiching, Kaching, no, bad joke. DeAndre Hall, you guys know about those two. Isaiah Bowie, I mean, this class is really stinking good, man. I'd say we signed a top five class this year, and you know what? Damn, man, was right. We brought it to fruition, a top five class this year. It's just, it's awesome to see, man. There are good things ahead for Vanderbilt, I can promise you. I mean, honestly, I'd be lying if I told you this team's better than the one last year. I mean, maybe there's more depth. I think the team next year could be really good. But Darren Smith is back at quarterback from Strongsville, Ohio, just like Tam Man on Ohio. But we have done a good job building the secondary room with CJ Cooper and Brett Bloom. That's a, that's a fun name. So those two are definitely solid corner so they should help on the defense i'd be lying if i said i wasn't scared that they're more in the country and it's a chance here to pull off a massive upset though let's make it happen Commodores. decent start down seven before half tanner knows how crucial this drive is i am a little bit scared i don't want to throw a pick down here that would be the worst thing in the world oh i don't have to worry about that touchdown bed good let's go felipe we have ourselves a chance my friends down seven at the goal line let's make it happen come on guys we need a touchdown here no pressure gang x touchdown yeah! Let's go, Brandon. We're going for two. Time for Vanderbilt to be put on the map for once. Not for sucking, but for being good at football. No pressure. R1. Circle. Circle! Circle! <laughs> this is the type of program changing win that we needed more than anything, man. Honestly, more than a kidney. I would have given it for this win, and we got the win. I'd even need to give a kidney. Let's go, Darren Smith. Yeah, walk off in shame, Langhorn. Suck on those, baby. Ah, yes. Beautiful. 8-1. I mean, obviously, I don't know, man. We lost to Georgia, I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing that was our only loss, because Georgia's just, they're 99 overall, dude. They're just yoked. Yeah, that Texas win really doesn't hold that much value now. They're 5-5. Five and five. Hey, At least we Dipped them up when they were number one in the country. I mean, our schedule really hasn't been that impressive. The only ranked team we beat was Missouri, beat Florida as well, and then we lost to Georgia. But hey, man, we already have a ton of more wins than we have had usually, so I'm not going to complain. And we're continuing to kill it on the recruiting trail, which is absolutely a need if we're going to get up to the top 10, top 5 rankings and try and sneak into the playoff one year. But we picked up this guy, Alohe Kane, 
from Wahihi, Wahoo, Hawaii. So this guy looks really, really good at quarterback. So I'm really, really excited. But and then we got this Tyler Racingno guy as well. So really, really good recruits coming in. All right, man, we need to win this game. We're on the road. Play Kentucky's very winnable game. Okay, I want to get to 10 wins this season. We're on, we're at eight. We just need two more. Okay, not rocket science. Math is very possible when you use your brain. Up 10 late in the game. Tanner's feeling great. We throw to Johnny w uh, uh, on the right side. He scores the game seal and touchdown. They came back a little bit. Very scary, but who cares? We still won. Such a beautiful sight. Finish with 10 wins. Tanner's visibly a happy boy. We somehow spanked Oklahoma the final game after getting smashed by Tennessee. Tanner's more of a Raising Canes fan, but he doesn't care. We get to play in a somewhat meaningful bowl game. Most win for us over the Hurricanes. The coach Sprinkles gets lifted up. He's a big man. Tanner's happy to see the strength and conditioning program show its strides. Had two kids transfer. Tanner was a very happy about it. He's going to miss DeAndre Hall, but we did convince Stanley and Jake to come back, thankfully, but not too many other kiddos leaving the program. I'll be honest, I don't think anything could cope with that pain. I, I really was excited for that kid next year. He was definitely going to start. I don't know why he was leaving because of playing time. He was going to start. Makes me sadness, but this class is really good. Another top five class, I'm pretty sure. You guys already know about the Hawaiish. Uh, you guys know about him. Also, Quinton Cheek. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it's a really awesome class. Yeah, as I predicted, top five, literally sitting at number five. Texas, 6'5". That's just ridiculous, man. Of course, they're in the SEC with us. That's just death. But you know what, man? I'm happy with our class. I'm really proud of the team we've built. The thing that we're going to have to worry about this year, though, is the defense. I don't know. I think the, the offense is way better than the defense. We've done a great job recruiting, especially at the quarterback and wide receiver positions. I kind of feel like Ohio State right now. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to play Michigan, but, uh, yeah, this is honestly how the team's built. Like, the wide receivers are insane. It's only gonna get better, too, with the future, so. We got Dad Dubui, the Dubui, uh, F Felipe, Bedgo. It's just a really good receiving core. And then also, offensive line has been pretty good for us this video, so. Yeah, offense gonna have to carry. Defense, just please don't lose us games, and I think that we can have a really good season. This team just might have it, man. 99 overall, 99 offense, 97 defense. We started 6-0, 3-0 in conference play. It's starting out really, really good. Had a somewhat close game against the FCS goal, which is surprising, and we killed Alabama. Beat Ole Miss, beat Utah. I mean, we haven't beat anybody that good, but we're undefeated, so I don't care. We're playing Georgia this week, so I'm scared. All right, guys, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but we have the home field advantage, all right? And we've never beaten them before, so that has to that does nothing for us, Coach Sprinkles. I don't know what we're going to do, man. Square? 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 Square! Let's go, Ben Good! Felipe! Let's go. Good start, baby. Just down three. Tanner is growing in confidence, especially if we can get seven here. I got scared. Circle! Touchdown! Let's go, Jalen! Oh, I don't know why I said Jalen. Stanley. Tanner's stupid at. Let's go, baby. Teams play phenomenal this game. Built up a 15-point lead, and Tanner's looking for some insurance. Well, since Brandon dropped the touchdown, I'll have to settle for three. But either way, I think this baby's over. Unless Drudge does something mir miraculous, which I'll be honest, I would not put it past him, but it's up and it's good, baby. It should be GG's. Holy Michelle Obama, baby. We beat Joe to Hazard Field, dog. <laughs> this team is going to make the playoff. If they don't make it, Tanner will be a sad puppy, and we don't want him to be a sad puppy, so by default, we'll have to make it. 11-1, you know, would have liked 12-0, but definitely we are in the thick of it in the playoff hunt. As long as we win the SC title, I think we're going to be able to make it. Yeah, we beat the Gamecocks. We lost to Florida in overtime on the road. I mean, I understand that, I guess. Would have been nice to win. We beat Kentucky at home, beat Tennessee, and then we spanked Oklahoma. So honestly, this team's just been really good this year. We could really do some magical things. I'm excited. Couldn't ask for an easier opponent, to be completely honest. We're playing the Vampire Piggies, Arkansas on the SEC title, we better win this, man. It's not like we're playing Bama or some other scary team. We got a score right here. I want to get a lead on the Red Piggies. Oh, yeah, touchdown. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, who is it? Stanley! Let's go, baby! Yeah, this game has gotten splitted so far. Up 14-3. Tanner's in need of another touchdown. Oh, this has got to be a touchdown. I don't see how it's not. Oh, yeah! Let's go, a cockity! Good job, Caleb. Now up 42-3, and this blowout lead has Tamman channeling as in a redneck. I love the performance the team is displaying right now. This is an elite performance right here, and I could not be happier. That's a touchdown. Kane Grubb. <laughs> Arkansas. They sucked. They got murdered. That was not even close. Ah, there's Coach Sprinkles hoisting up the SEC title. Playoff football gets Mountain Mama. Let's take her home. Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Super Bowl! Let's go, Dada Booey. Man, they are keeping up with their offense. Tied at 21, and Tanner is a nervous wreck. I'm very scared. We need to get seven right here. Okay, do not want to lose to West Virginia. Oh, touchdown! Yes? Let's go, Stanley! Oh, that's just sign up. I'm stupid at it. Finally created a little separation up seven. Just need to get a first down and keep the clock milking. Perfect. Another first day. Yeah, that, that dude, they just cannot stop a cockney. I think that's game over. Man, that was a valiant effort. Our defense sucked, but thankfully our offense was really good. West Virginia could score a lot. 
They could stop, not stop a nosebleed, though. That was really, really successful. Yes, Coach Sprinkles hoisted up the golden trophy, and then he's got the golden uh, roundabout thingy. Oh, that's nice. And they walk off the field. Isn't that a circus thing? Plenty Kitty Cat and the Natty, and they're undefeated. It's time to slay the beast. Slants is so good down here, man. I really want to score seven first. I want them to know that this is not going to be an easy game for them. Penn State probably thinks it's going to be a walk in the park. Tell you what, it ain't going to be no walk in the park. Nail biter of a game tied up. Tanner knows what needs to be done. Come on, boys. We need seven down here. Yep, circle. Let's go! <laughs> Stanley! We have the lead up, too. Just need someone to seal the deal here. All right, gang. Just got to recover the sunset kick, all right? Let's not get a little freaked out right here. All right. We were prepared for it. Thank you, Mr. Scott. There we go, baby. That should be game over. Coach Sprinkles, let's go, baby. He gets that natty, yeah. Hoist it up. Took us many, many years of sucking or being just average, but finally, we got over the top. 11-2, 14-1, and we got Vanderbilt that natty, baby, with Coach Sprinkles. Ever wonder if Harvard could win a national title in college football? If so, click the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.